So in this class, we are going to consider how to simplify our algebraic expressions from the previous case that we had from our term two. Remember, we managed to introduce each other to the algebraic expressions. But the question is, are you able to simplify these algebraic expressions? Are you able to simplify that using uh, the concept that we have got like terms that are supposed to be considered. Remember uh, the concept of our like terms, same letter of variable and same power. The letters that you're given or the letter that you're given is supposed to be the same. If I'm given 7x and I'm also given 3x, these terms, they are referred to as like terms, like terms terms what is it that we have on these like terms we have got the same letter or same variable with the same power the variables that we are given that we have and they must be of same power or exponent raised to the same power this is one this is one so considering that i have got these terms they can be added together or to be subtracted together by ignoring that we have got an x here because this is the same so just ignore this x ignore this x add the numbers which is the coefficients so we've got the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x so what you're supposed to do is to add or subtract depending with the question that you are given you're supposed to add or subtract the coefficients all right, you add or subtract the coefficients of what? Of the like terms, of the like terms. So remember the coefficient, a number that is multiplying the letter that you're given. So in this case, it's addition. We can add seven plus three, that is 10, and it's gonna be 10x, just simple like that. So take note, we add the numbers, seven plus three, that is 10. The x, this one, that is, the one that is common, which is our like term, we're going to have it as it is, not as x squared, not as any other, just as x, as it was before. You just add or subtract your like, uh, I mean, your coefficients. So that is the major part that we are supposed to consider in this exercise. All right, let us consider the first question that you are given. Simplify the following expressions in the first part you are given, 18x plus 7 plus 6x minus 2. So you must consider those terms, which you call uh, uh, the like terms. Then you collect the like terms. The ones that you call these are the like terms. Remember, like terms, same variable, same power. 18x, 6x. Because you can see this is x and x, same power that we have. So this we can write as 13x, plus 6x. We are not changing anything, just right as it is plus 6x. The number, the term, this one, it has got its sign a plus. All right. The 7, which is the, the constant, and also the minus 2, it's a constant. So we've got plus 7 minus 2. So the constants on their own, the, uh, the terms on their own, like this is a term, and this is a term as it is. You take this on their own, then these numbers, 7 and minus 2 on their own. So that is the case that you're going to have them. All right, so with this, now we can add or subtract depending what we have, like terms. So let's consider the first two. These are like terms, same variable, which is x and raised to the same power. So we can simply add the numbers that we are given. All right, 13 plus six, remember what I said, you add the coefficient. So you add these numbers, all right? 13 plus six, which is 19, but you must have X on your answer. All right, then seven, this take note plus seven minus two as it is the last part, plus seven minus two is simply seven minus two, which is a five. So that is going to give us uh, 19 X plus five, just like that. Collect your leg terms, just like that. After that, simplify by adding or subtracting the leg terms that you considered. All right, on number B, we are given 21x minus eight 
plus 7x plus 15. So just like the previous case, we're going to consider our like terms. That is the terms that has got x together. That is a 21x plus a 7x. Then the term, the numbers, which are the uh, which are the constants in this case on their own. You must consider these ones on their own. So meaning to say we have got a 21x and a 7x. Remember the part where we have got x. Then the, the constants, the minus 8 and the 15. You can write as 15 minus 8. You can write as minus 8 plus 15 the way that you want. Still one and the same thing. All right. So let's add and see what you're going to have because these are like terms, the part of x there, but we are adding that is 21 plus a 7, which is going to be uh, a 28x. Remember what I said, you must consider also x on, on your answer. Uh, then the last part we have got uh, in this case is the minus 8 plus 15. This is simply the same as 15 minus 8. Nothing has changed there. So that is going to be a 7. So that is going to be plus 7, a positive. This is going to be your final answer. These two cannot be added. They are called unlike terms. There we have got x. There we do not have x. So unlike terms cannot be added. We only add or subtract the like terms, the coefficients of the like terms. Take note. If the terms are not the same, they cannot be added or subtracted. So that is the case. For number C, we've got the same thing, uh, 18C minus 12D plus 5C minus 7C. So if we are to consider their terms of C, that is the 18C on this part and also a 5C. These are terms consisting of C and also a 7C. So we are going to take these terms together, collect these terms, uh, that is going to be 18C plus, so we've got a plus 5c minus 7c. Then at the end, we are going to subtract minus 12d, which is the only part with uh, a d. So let's consider. So we're just going to add the numbers. You can just add uh, 18 and 5 because that is addition of these two. So it's going to be 23c. Then you subtract a 7. So that's minus 7, which will be a 16c. So that's 16C minus 12D. So take note, this we just write as it is. And these two terms cannot be added or subtracted. These are unlike terms. So there's nothing that we are going to do on that part. That will be our final answer. So this is what you're going to do on all of these questions. So on number D, also you're going to rearrange 3A, B, C, 7A, B, C. These are like terms. So you're going to have 3A, B, C plus 7abc, then the 4 and the minus 6, these are the constants that we have. So we're going to take them on their own. So add 3 plus a 7, that is a 10, abc. So these are, are the same. There's a, b, and c, a, b, and c, same powers also. So these are like terms. All right, 4 minus 6, that is a minus 2. So that's it, just like that. So that is what you're supposed to do on number e. Same thing, take the terms. If you check, there's a confusion that they would just want you to have like this x, 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 but take note of the exponents also. This is not just x. This is x squared. This is x. So these are different. If you're considering the like terms, you must consider the part of x squared to that of x squared also. The part of x to that part of x also, these are like terms. So meaning to say in this case, we're going to consider this as 12x squared minus 2x squared, same power also. Then the part of x, the 2x and the 8x. So this is 2x plus 8x. These are like terms. So we can subtract 12 minus 2, that is 10. So we've got 10x squared, okay? We do the same, we add this is this part of x here. These are like terms. We're simply going to add the numbers 2 and 8. That is 2 plus 8. All right? So if you add this 2 plus 8, that is going to be a 10. But we have x on that part. So we have simplified. These two cannot be added. They are not like terms because this is to the exponent of 1. 
to the x one of two. Remember, I said like terms, same variable or same letter raised to the same exponent or to the same power. So meaning to say, if the powers are different, they are not like terms. It's not about having x, but it's about having the same power also. So it's the same thing on question number seven. If you consider on this part, we have got uh, the part of 7m cubed, all right, and the 9m to the exponent, that is the 9m to the exponent of 3, they are like terms. 7m to the power of 3, this 9m to the power of 3, same power. Se uh, so that's going to be 7m to the power of 3 plus 9m to the power of 3, all right. The 7m squared does not have anything to be considered. Just take as it is. The 1 is no a term also to be considered to that. So just write as it is. But what we need is to combine this part where we have got what? The m cubed. The m to the exponent of 3. The m to the power of 3. These are like terms. So we're going to add 7 plus 9, which is going to be a 16 m to the power of 3. So this cannot be combined to anything. So you're just going to write as it is. These are not like terms, meaning to say these are unlike terms. They cannot be added. They cannot be subtracted. They, there's nothing. Just leave it like that. But if it was of the same 16m to the exponent of 3, and maybe here, it was a 7m to the exponent of 3 and maybe another m to the exponent of 3. We are going to add 16 plus 7 plus 1. It is under the same m to the exponent of 3, m to the, ex m to the exponent of 3. But in this case, it is different. That is m to the exponent of 3. This is to the exponent of 2. So they are unlike terms. They totally, we do not have m. That is a constant. So meaning to say, uh, we cannot simplify that. All right. So these are the typical questions on your algebraic expressions. Uh, we shall wake with more questions. Uh, let us revise as much as we can.